everyone, QB King 77 here again, here with a, a new little series going on, QB King 77's Classroom, where I'm going to be teaching you guys everything Android related. I'm going to be covering many different things. It's kind of something I want to do to help help you guys learn the, the Android platform and kind of know things, especially if someone doesn't know a certain term, they want to reference something. I'm going to be doing many different videos and many different terms. I'm going to be doing things about like rooting and things about what kernels are, what ROMs are, uh, what, uh, I mean, what everything is, what bootloaders are, what fast boot mode is. Just, I'm going to be going over pretty much everything, all the different terms. It's going to be sporadic. It's not going to be on a certain basis for you guys. So, I mean, it'll be something I'll put together all in one playlist on my YouTube channel, and then you guys can all reference it if you don't know something, or you can just watch them at your leisure, just if you, you might pick something up you don't know. Uh, but anyways, this is QB King 77's Classroom. First of all, I'm going to start off with nothing in depth. I'm going to do a little general thing just about Android itself, get a little history lesson, so you could say, on, on Android itself. So Android itself started um, with Android Incorporated, actually. They were its own separate thing, I believe, co-founded by Andy Rubin, who is still with Android and Google today. Uh, Google purchased Android Incorporated in 2005, actually. And I believe in 2007 is when the first release of Android was. Uh, it's developed by the Open Handset Alliance, which was uh, which was announced in 2007. The Open Handset Alliance is kind of a, an alliance between different companies where they want to get together and make sure everything mobile related is is all open for everyone. I believe companies such as Google, HTC, Samsung, Dell, Sony, T-Mobile, Sprint. Um, Intel, Texas Instruments, all, all of those. Uh, good, there's a lot more. I can actually post a link to what uh, what all this stuff is, and you can see the different companies that are involved in it. But Google does have the Open Handset Alliance, so I mean they're really the head, and they're obviously the owners of Android itself. So uh, what Android is is a Linux-based OS and operating system, such as Windows to a PC, Android is to cell phones and tablets as well. It's Linux-based, which is uh, also a PC operating system which is open source. Uh, we, we, what open source means, it, it really just kind of means that uh, developers are, can pretty much do what they please with the, the files and the file system itself of Android. So, uh, of course, there are limitations with certain manufacturers and such. So, um, I'll probably get to that in future episodes. But anyways, you've got Android itself, of course, being the mobile operating system. You have an Android market, which is now known as Google Play, uh, for developers to make apps for it. See, there's so many applications, obviously, as you guys all know, in the uh, the Play Store. So uh, you, you really got that as being a main thing that drives Android, being the apps, of course, being one of the main things that people purchase certain OSs. I mean, with iOS and Android, you, you really got those huge markets within the within their uh, app stores or Google Play stores. So to start off Android, uh, they, they really had some beta testing going. That was the initial versions. They had beta testing going. And then they basically got their stable release to come out, which was version uh, 1.5. So they had version 1.5 being the initial release, and that was known as Cupcake. So um, they called it Cupcake. One thing you'll notice with these, uh, you're gonna have to deal with my awful handwriting. So I apologize, you're just gonna have to deal with it. But uh, so one, they started with 1.5 being Cupcake, and that was the initial release. And then after Cupcake, they went with 1.6 being uh, Donut. So Donut. It's being spelled like that, D-O-U-D-O-N-U-T, that is how they decided to spell it. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that uh, you'll see the names going in alphabetical order. Basically, they name their specific versions by a specific, a certain kind of dessert, and they go in alphabetical order. So they started with C, and then they went to D. Um, one other thing you'll notice is with the numbers, it's kind of sporadic on how they decide. They started with 1.5 going to 1.6 being a different name. And then you'll see after 1.6, they went to 2.0. And at 2.0, it was E. So obviously you got the letter E being Eclair then. So um, you have going from CDE, Cupcake Donut, to Eclair, but you went 1.5 to 1.6. You didn't go to 1.7, you went to 2.0. So they do kind of determine, I believe it's and how big the update is, is how they kind of determine the numbers and such. So you got 1.5, 1.6, 2.0. Uh, there was 2.0 and 2.1. Um, those were both considered Eclair. So um, you, you had both of those being Eclair. After that, they had 2.2, uh, which was actually um, 
what I started on when I started Android myself. I didn't really get a chance to try any of these. Actually, I did try 2.1 Eclair on my Epic 4G. That was what it came with originally, and then I got a Froyo update. Uh, but uh, I didn't get get to use Cupcake or Donut, so I'm not sure how well that was used, and I didn't see many devices on it. So with 2.2, you have Froyo. So, um, of course, going with the letters, you got F now. Froyo standing for frozen yogurt, which is what Google decided there. Um, after 2.2, you went to 2.3, and at 2.3, that was known as gingerbread, as I'm sure most of you are on currently on your phone, which I believe is the most popular OS with Android being, the OS version being gingerbread is the most popular at the moment. Hopefully that soon changes the ice cream sandwich, as I'm sure most of you guys are hoping yourselves. But uh, you also have, after 2.3, you had a release of 3.0, but 3.0 is only for tablets. So you aren't going to see 3.0 on any mobile devices, only uh, only the tablets being, and that was called Honeycomb. So a, a little bit of a different name, of course. Um, you have Honeycomb right there. I, again, I apologize for the awful handwriting. I'll get better at it as, the, as it goes on. But So you got 3.0 being Honeycomb, and then um, after everyone on their mobile phones was on Gingerbread, they went ahead and made a, an OS update to 4.0, and that being Ice Cream Sandwich. So you got 4.0, um, being ice cream sandwich. Yes, uh, three words, ice cream sandwich. That was the first time they ever made it into more than one word, and they decided to make it three words. Um, running out of room here, hopefully you guys can all see this, but 4.0 being ice cream sandwich. Uh, it's also referred to as ICS. That's mostly what you'll refer to it as, uh, just because three words kind of gets tedious to say. I know I'll refer to it as ICS or ice cream sandwich. So uh, they go interchangeably. If you see one or the other, you know it's it's pretty much the same thing. And you also notice that there's gonna be different versions, uh, like with Gingerbread, you'll see 2.3.3, 2.3.4, uh, just kind of with maintenance updates to that specific version. So you'll see 4.0.3, uh, which I believe is the latest as of now, but I think they're gonna be pushing an update sometime soon at the Galaxy Nexus. Uh, but 4.0 is, is obviously the latest mobile OS, um, and I believe tablets get it as well. So tablets would get updated to Ice Cream Sandwich. It was kind of the tie-in between um, Honeycomb and uh, Gingerbread, but not really Gingerbread. It kept more of the Honeycomb look and feel to it, and it kind of tied in the tablets and, and the phones itself. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Kind of everything I wanted to cover, just kind of some basic stuff in regards to Android itself and uh, how Google kind of runs it and uh, how it's all open sourced. Uh, one more thing I do kind of want to go over is you'll see the term we're running out of room here, but let me get a different color. Whoops, let me get a different color. Um, it's called AOSP. Kind of the last term I want to go over. AOSP stands for Android Open Source Project. Uh, that's kind of what they call it um, because it's obviously open sourced, so they, they keep to the name Android Open Source Project. So you might see that AOSP. That is what that stands for, kind of just something else I wanted to cover for you guys. But really that's it, just kind of a basic run through of what Android is and, and, and everything. I'll be doing many, many more of these videos. Hopefully you guys enjoy them. Um, be sure to leave some comments, co constructive criticism or comments or suggestions for me. What you'd like to see, you can just leave a comment. Be sure to give this, thumbs, this video a thumbs up as well if you like it, so I know if I should obviously keep doing them. Uh, but other than that, be sure to subscribe to me, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching.